Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SVG files in PowerPoint. What's an SVG file, you ask? It's a scalable vector graphic, and it can be a great file format when you're not sure how big you need your image to be. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to get an SVG. First of all, if you are using something like Google Slides, I should point out you cannot import SVGs into Google Slides, but you can use Google Slides to create an SVG. And you can do that by going to your file menu, selecting download, and then selecting scalable vector graphics, and you can download it right there. Now, if you try to import this back into your Google Slides, it will tell you that the file format is not accepted. But you can use it in a tool like Canva and a tool like PowerPoint. So for example, here's my PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and use the insert menu. I'm gonna insert a picture from this device and I'm going to import that picture that I just saved as an SVG. And you can see there it is, it's really small but I can click on it and make it bigger and even bigger and it doesn't lose any of its quality no matter how big I make it. Now I can of course distort it by going this way but as long as I scale it up that way it retains its same original quality. Now I'm going to delete that one and show you how to do that same thing in Canva. Again, upload a file, and I'm going to include this file right here that I've now uploaded, and I'll put it on my slide, and you can see there, you can very easily adjust the size of it without losing any of the resolution quality. Now, if you are looking on a website like Pixabay, you'll find that there is a filter for vector graphics. And I've used that one here to find this cute picture of a cat and a dog. And I'm going to download it as a vector graphic. And now that it's downloaded, I can once again use that in my slide in PowerPoint. And in this case here, I'll use that picture and we'll see it just like that and we can see it get bigger and not lose any of its resolution quality by the way this is a handy little designer tool that powerpoint has tossed in there and i like that one so that's how you can use svg files in your powerpoint account as always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.